Hey there, I am Sherry Samuels, the voice coach, and this is your thought for the week. So I'm wondering, have you ever had one of those moments where you're just like, oh, I just don't have what it takes. You're looking at something that you're really excited about, but you keep hearing you don't have what it takes. Guess what? You are not alone. Most of us, all of us have that thought at least once in a lifetime. And if I'm honest, and if you're like me, you probably have that thought once a week. Now, when that thought comes each week or whenever it comes, I could let it take root. I could decide, oh, I'm just going to succumb to whatever is being said and go with that and stop moving forward. Or I could decide that I need to reset course, that I want to keep moving forward, but I need to create a new narrative. So how do we create that new narrative? First, it's important to always remind ourselves that no matter what anyone says, not your mama, not your daddy, not Auntie Sue or Uncle Joe, you have got the right stuff, baby. You have everything that you need to move forward doing everything you put your mind to. Your dreams are real. They matter. The visions that you have for yourself are real and they matter and we cannot allow anyone to stop us from following through on those things. It's also important to remember that while stopping completely is not an option, slowing down absolutely is. It's not up for us to keep a certain pace. It's not about, oh, well, I have to get to my finish line by a certain time. It's your finish line. That means you have to move at the pace that feels right to you. And sometimes that's going to be lightning speed. Other times that's going to be, that's going to feel like a snail's pace. Either way, what matters most is that you don't stop, that you keep moving forward, even when it feels overwhelming or scary or frustrating. Next, I want you to keep in mind that a life well lived is not about rigidly following plans or being laser focused on getting to a certain thing in a certain way. A life well lived is about allowing ourselves to be in a state of flow. Flowing as things come and go, there will be highs and lows, there will be ebbs and flows in how life moves. We want certain things, but we do not have to hold so tight to those things that we don't allow ourselves to move forward with ease. Flow is about ease, and my flow may look very different than yours, and that's all okay. It's about us being really focused on moving in a way that feels authentically aligned with who we are as individuals. Finally, I want you to remember that everything happens for a reason. Go ahead, repeat after me. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. We may not know that reason in the moment. We may not ever have a clear understanding of what that reason is but everything happens for a reason. When we allow ourselves to remember that, we are allowing ourselves to be open to those ebbs and flows. We are allowing ourselves to be open to what happens so that we can learn and grow along the way to get to that place that we want to be. Staying in line with who we are as our authentic selves, our authentic voice. So I encourage you this week that no matter what anyone says, no matter when you hear that voice that says, oh, you don't have what it takes, you absolutely have what it takes. Don't allow that thought to take root. Remind yourself that you have the right stuff. You have everything that you need. Everything happens for a reason. You will move through any challenge with ease because you have exactly what it takes. And if you ever feel like you're in a space of, you know what, I'm struggling to feel that on my own, reach out to me, send me an email. Let's set up a time to have a conversation about how I can support you in creating your best life. You can reach me at sherry at sherrysamuels.com or you can visit my website, sherrysamuels.com. I am Sherry Samuels, the voice coach, and this was your thought for the week.